Polly Malinaji quit as Conor McGregor's sparring partner just three weeks before his fight with Floyd Mayweather. Photos surfaced yesterday that appeared to show McGregor knocked Malinaji out, but Polly said he was shoved down, not knocked down. Polly posted on Twitter the UFC has cameras all over the gym recording 24 7. The video exists unedited of rounds 1 through 12 Tuesday night. Let the fans see. I came to help this camp out, not to be exploited. Now you're going to get the truth, though. Post full unedited video from Tuesday night, hashtag ethics. Mm. Skip, what do you make of this? Sounds to me like Polly got his face pounded and his pride pounded all at once. You know what my takeaway is? I don't think Conor McGregor is getting nearly enough credit for what he just undertook against a guy in Pauli Malignaggi who is a two-weight former world champion in two different weights. Mm -hmm. that's, that's pretty good. Yes. And he just recently retired, so he's not some old, out of shape. I think he's 36, but he just recently stopped boxing mm -hmm. professionally. And I remind you, this was not sparring. This was like a legit mm -hmm. setup fight where they brought in Joe Cortez, highly respected referee, to try to police what was 12 bad blood rounds of going at it, boxing, not sparring, boxing. And remember, these two didn't like each other before. So Conor McGregor invited a guy in who he knew would come after him with bad blood. And now the bad blood is obviously spilled outside the ring mm -hmm. post quote unquote fight. Well, this felt like an official 12 round, let's do it kind of a fight. And Pauly was mad that Connor actually invited some dignitaries in, Dana White and others, some former, people. The former owner of the uh, UFC. Yes, to watch. And he wasn't ready for that. And now he wasn't ready for Connor to post some pictures of what was Connor getting the best of Pauly mm -hmm. at those moments that there's still shots in the fight. And I would love to see the unedited version because there are a whole lot of people out there who tell me that Connor McGregor just flat out can't box. <clears throat> Well, then even Pauly, right after the fight, said that I found my rhythm in the middle rounds, I landed some shots in the middle rounds, but Connor came on strong late. That's what Pauly said. And when I saw Pauly's face, to use your term, it looked like it got lumped up by Connor <laughs> McGregor. And I assume they were wearing 10 ounce pillow gloves. I assume because I would assume Connor wants to get used to. 10 ounce pillow gloves that Floyd wants to hide behind. So, in the end, Polly says, I didn't, as you point out, I, I didn't get knocked down. I got pushed down mm -hmm. because he said Connor was resorting to some bully tactics, mm -hmm. just overpowering mm -hmm. him in close. You listening, Floyd? Because that's what I've been telling you. Floyd is too little to stand up to this man who's going to fight so unconventionally that he's going to come at Floyd in ways nobody has ever come at Floyd. Because this man has no conventional rules. I'm not saying he's going to fight dirty or go MMA, but he has no boxing rules in his head about, this is the way you have to do it because this is the way I was taught. He wasn't taught anything in boxing. He's going to come after Floyd Mayweather just the way he went at it with Pauly. And so for all those people who say Connor won't even be able to land a punch, I think this should prove to you, I think you better think twice about that. This tells me that Connor McGregor is trying to fool the public into thinking that he has an absolute chance of beating Floyd Mayweather, which he doesn't. And I hope they do not release the 12 rounds because then nobody would buy the fight. So I want people to buy this fight because I want the world to see this butt cutting that's coming oh, on so August 20th. You think Paul... Paulie just put on makeup after the no, fight or what? No, skip, huh? skip. First of all, they were probably sparring in uh, 14 to 16 ounce gloves. Nobody spars in the gloves they're going to actually fight in. I don't, not... I don't know about that. No. no I, I think he wanted to, to feel what it would feel like to actually do this for I, 12 I, rounds. And, and Paulie said, they flew me out. I thought I was going to have some time to gather my bearings. They took me straight to the gym. Here's Dana White, the Free Tops brothers. They got all these camera crews set up. So I realized then it was a, a hatchet, a hit job. Oh. They brought me in mm. to try to, you know, exploit me, exploitation. Oh, really? And, so and, he wasn't a boxer? Yeah. Oh, he was a boxer. But I'm saying skip. He's a professional boxer. So let me ask you a question. A champion. So let me ask you a question. Why don't fly, fighters fly in the day of the fight? 
and fight? Why are they there a week, two weeks in advance if it's so easy to do? Oh, but that's what he tried to do. Hold Sounds on. It's like an excuse on no, I don't make, part. But you don't think he was warned, we're going to go 12 rounds? I have never seen anyone, and I've seen a lot of fights. I've seen guys get knocked out the ring. I've never seen anybody get hit so hard, their heels are up in the air. Now, I've seen somebody get pushed down, and their heels are up in the air. I've seen that. Well, I, I'll admit to that. I got it. I think he got pushed down. But, but let me ask you a question. <clears throat> Why are we supposed to believe what Connor says in the photos, but when the the, uh, uh, the video of Connor and, and and people talk about he got knocked out in sparring, nobody wants to believe that. But we're supposed to believe this, but not to believe that. Oh, but you know what, Skip? Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it, pa Paulie. Mm. Boy, you gonna take care. Cause see, you said Paulie was a two division, mm -hmm. two weights. Yeah, mm -hmm. from one thirty to one. 54. Mm. You know how they go, Skip. They go 130, 35, 40, 47, mm. 54. Floyd wiped it out. Floyd, from 20 years old to 40 years old? And, uh, really? He's 40? And guess what happened, Oh, wow, that's Skip? old. Name a man that can say, I, name a man professionally can say that I put hands on Floyd, and when we went to the middle of the ring, the ref raised my hand. Now, go ask Conor McGregor the same thing. Because I saw him get that bloody, get that sloppy Joe. Manwich. Mine was a manwich. Oh, manwich. So he fell into wrestling a man who probably outweighed him by, I'm going to guess, conservatively 30 pounds. Skip, I'm, a, I'm look here. My grandfather said, boy, you can have excuses or you can have results. Which one you want, Skip? You want the excuses or you want the results? Did he get beat? He's been beaten three times. And then what happened after he lost by falling into the trap of being pulled down onto the ground by Nate Diaz, what did he do? He told Dana White, I want him now. And Dana said, you can't do this. You only have so many of these left in your body. Nope, I want him now. He's too big for you, Connor. I want him sooner than later. And they did it sooner. And what happened in the next one? He, he won. And why did he win? He stood up and boxed him. He would not let Nate take him to the ground. First he of, stood up, first and they all, rocked each other. Dana White is one of the best promoters that there is. It's hard for me to believe, because he's, he's, he's a baker, and sometimes he add a little bit more yeast so this cake will get a little bigger. Oh, he talked to me right after the fight, after he had got choked out. I want to fight him tomorrow. Now, if you, if you ask Dana this today, he's going to say he wanted to fight him again the same night. I get it, Skip. Skip, are you talking to a salesman, Skip? Mm. I, look here. You? Yeah, Skip. You, you didn't know. I oh, so you're trying to sell things. No. Oh. I, I just speak the truth. I don't have to sell anything. When I, was a I little, let the facts speak. When I was a little boy, I talked a rooster into hiring a fox to guard the hen house. Really? Talked him into Andy Payton. Wow. So I know what Dana White's trying to do. So you speak rooster? Yeah. I talked him into it. Had to, and the fox mm. stood guard. We went huh. to bed. Huh. But Skip, you then know. Then what happened? Some carnage? Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> Floyd, do like my man, Floyd, Floyd, Floyd Sr. He did. Go get tore up. Mm. Go get, he will look like Pauly Malinaji did. Mm -hmm. I can assure you of that. So and Jenny, how did, how did Jenny said she going. Jenny yeah. going to the fight. I, yeah, well, I can't. Who, who I'm going to find a way. Huh? Who is he going to the fight? No, I'm, huh? Jenny, and Jenny <laughs> says, Joy, Joy want to be all bougie and don't want to go to the party. Jenny and I going to Flores after party at the oh. Aria. And you, Jenny, by 10, I ain't bartender. I'm in. That's fine. <laughs> by 10, I, I Jenny's think, in. I'm she, on the hen. No. Oh, man, that's great. <laughs> that's great. I think she's in for the fight, but not the after party. We going to the after party. I don't think so, but that's just me. You so, ain't, you're not invited. You, the losers do not have after party, Skip. I think you are getting more nervous on that hot seat you sit on by the moment, because now Conor McGregor has dared to bring in a guy who can actually box, who doesn't like Conor McGregor, and he basically kicked his behind. So Just you... look at his face, unless they made it up with you know, like zombie blood or oh, I don't know. I, I don't think they did. I'm trying to figure at what point in his career did people confuse Paulie Malignaggi with Floyd Mayweather? 
At what point? Never. Okay, I then. Agree. So that don't tell me nothing. But is he a legitimate professional boxer who won world titles yeah. at two weight classes? Yes, he did. Long, long, long no, time ago. Not that ago. long ago. Long, not long that, time ago. No. He ain't won a fight in, yeah. in ages, Skip. So you, you keep telling me that Conor McGregor won't even be able to land a single punch, yet he landed Meaningful. a number of punches. Meaningful. Molly Malinaji. Meaningful. Oh. Skip, don't you know how sparring works? Do you actually This is not sparring. This was not. This was a fight. Okay. Why didn't he bring in Andre Ward? Why didn't he bring some current boxers? Because that's what you do. Skip, this is how it works. When you like when we're in training camp and a lot we're trying to get some work done, mm -hmm. the number one offense goes against the number two defense. We don't have starters and starters. Now sometimes, you know, things going bad, they start talking trash. And I'm like, Mike. Okay, I want to put some stop to this, all this chit-chatting, because they think they can guard or shake. They can't guard shake. But there's a reason why they call them sparring partners. Sparring partners don't, don't generally aren't able to beat the guy. That is correct, and you've never even heard of them. Well, Larry Holmes uh, I know Muhammad who Ali is. Well, Larry Holmes was a sparring yeah. partner for Ali, and he, he turned out to be heavyweight champ. That's how he came right, up. Right. Yeah. So we know how this works, Skip. But your day will come mm -hmm. August 26th. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be there. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to find you when it's oh, over. Yeah, but, no, you won't. Because huh? I've got to make my, hey, we got to, man, the people are going to be trying to get us. Our ass going to want some of my cheese. Mm. I got to hear up and get, I got to get, hey, mm. get, I get, we got bottle service, popping bottles. Mm. You know, you need to find a hideout in Las Vegas, <laughs> like some underground bomb shelter. No, no, we got, got a big old table, got all these bottles, ace of spades, yeah. well, some ace of spades. Ooh, got a, we got the magnum bottles. <laughs>